Hi, uh, David Townsend here from Becker Underwood again, and we're looking at uh, granular formulations again. Before we uh, did a video on uh, angle of repose and how granular inoculants uh, stack up, so to speak, and uh, the smaller, you know, the lower the stack, the more it flows. Now we want to look in sort of more of the composition. And the one thing that we do know from science is that if we wanted something to pack together to uh, to make something more solid, like if we were building a road per se, we'd want particles of different sizes. And uh, why is this important when we're talking in agriculture and granular inoculants? Well, the importance is, is that uh, when we throw inoculants into our air seeders or in, into that uh, V-bin that we're putting it in to apply it out, we're going to put it under a lot of pressure as far as uh, bouncing across the field, uh, just overall volume sitting there, and the vibration of the machinery and everything else is going to uh, shake this material down and compact it within or cause bridging uh, within that uh, bin. And if our particles are of different sizes, so uh, generally a more of a mix of different sizes with a lot of fines, with uh, medium and small size particles, uh, what's going to happen is that's going to shake down and become a lot firmer, uh, similar to the, how you make a road. You've got a whole bunch of different particle sizes in there in asphalt or, or even in gravel. And uh, by compacting it, it sets up and works a lot better than if you just had crushed stone that was all the same size and, and clean. So what we're looking at is we've got some sieves here, some large ones. Uh, some smaller ones. We're going to put it all together. We're going to take the sample and we've got the uh, uh, solid core the granular formulation uh, on the one side here and then we've got the peak crumble on the other side. We're going to do a little test where we shake it down uh, and, and separate the particle sizes and then I'm going to pour them back into each of the test tubes here and it'll show us uh, uh, how much separation of certain particle sizes that we'll have. So we're going to start out, we just uh, take our smallest screen goes on the bottom, medium in the middle and the large one on the top and we'll start with the uh, solid core, pour it on there, take the test tube back, just put it on here, we give it a shake and we're going to do a little time lapse here because I've got to shake it for uh, three to four minutes uh, for this sample and then uh, I'll pour it out and then we'll come back and do the other sample as well. Uh, we've now shaken the samples and as you can see this is the coarse one. We've got a, a lot of product there. Medium screen hopefully you can see into there. Uh, fine screen and then of course right on the bottom would be the dust that comes through. Uh, I'm now going to take a a piece of paper or a funnel and fill these ones and we'll come back and we'll show you what the uh, distribution of those different screen sizes look like. As you can see here we've got the samples in the four test tubes and uh, this first one uh, here is the majority of it, quite a bit. It's almost at the top. Remember we started with it right at full and then the little bit uh, in the next which was the medium screen, the fine screen and then the dust that's really uh, at the bottom and you can see that there's very little dust here it's almost all the same size that's a good thing if it's all the same size that means it isn't going to settle and compact within that uh, uh, within that bend in our air seeder so what we're going to do now is that's the solid core uh, granular formulation and then over here if I move this over you can see that we've got a test tube that we started here with the uh, uh, it's the peak crumble formulation. I'll go through the same exercise. When we come back we'll see it uh, distributed as far as the test tubes goes at that time. Okay, as you can see now we've uh, we've did both samples, the uh, solid core uh, on this side and the peak crumble on this side and you can notice quite a difference here. You can see the level uh, that was uh, screened out by the large screen that stayed on top of the large screen and then the medium drops down quite a bit uh, and almost no dust in this sample. Then if we go over to the peak crumble, you notice that we're quite a bit less here. 
and it does go down gradual, but what we've got is more of a mix of particle size. So what does that mean? Why would I care as a grower if the particle size is uh, has a distribution more like this compared to this? Well, it all comes down to as that product sits in your bin and your air seeder and you're going across that field bouncing over the field. Uh, all that product's going to come together and settle in. And by settling in, there's more of a chance of bridging. So the advantage of a product such as the solid core product here, where all the particles are the same size, is it doesn't bridge as much in your bin. It flows better in your bin, it, and it runs uh, better because they're all the same size. Comparing to a product, as you went through the day here, that would, that would vibrate down and settle in and become tight within the bin. So just a little experiment here that we did, uh, just separating the particles uh, of the two granular formulations that we use here in Canada, uh, just to see the difference in, in, you know, between the screens and how much dust. And you will notice here, there's a lot more dust in this last vial here compared to the solid core. And that's a big advantage for you, the grower. That dust you know, does it go down the tube or does it get blown out? Who knows? You've paid for the inoculant on it. So again, neat little experiment.